Last week, you lot ranked the best strikers in the world. Yeah. And some controversial takes, wasn't there, Lewis? Oh, yes, there was. Well, not very. They were correct ones. Who? He said Lacazette. And Cal Wilson, which were both correct. Yeah, you're kind of... you know, a lot of people actually in the comments, there were people saying Lacazette actually had a, st- a massive season he and did. yous were all underrating him. No, he did have a great season. He yeah, did, he amazing. Did have a good, so he that's did have not... a good season, but yeah, he's not the fifth best striker in the world, Apparently, he? If you had the fifth best season out of all the strikers in the world, it's fair to say that you're the fifth best striker in the world currently. Okay, how come you're not but including you... any like National League players then? <laughs> well, we, we have to take into account the quality of the league. But you also said... At that point, Lacazette was in the list because he scored 26 goals. 26 goals, two less than Mbappe. And, and you put Kane above Haaland, even though Haaland scored more goals. Kane contributes more assists and goals in a worse team. He doesn't do that, actually. He's nope. in a worse team no, than but, no, Yeah, that I agree with, but numbers-wise, Haaland is still like... Okay, Haaland. but like, in a worse team, put him ahead. That's yeah, but you can say the same with Lacazette and Kane. Lacazette does it in a worse team. Yeah, that's true. That anyway, true. Guys, I feel like the Premier League bonus gets him above. See, there's logic. Look, guys, we're not doing this again. <laughs> Yeah. Instead, what we are doing is discussing the best central midfielders in the world. Mm-hmm. And I want to preface this and say we're including cams and CDM. Oh, oh God, I just threw up in my mouth. Like attacking midfielders. Cam. Def- <laughs> a cam. <laughs> Defensive midfielders, attacking midfielders. Man. CDMs. Go on then, seeing as you're listening. So good, brother. You fucking FIFA brother. shagger. <laughs> FIFA shagger. Um, right. Nice. Okay. I'm actually going to swap two of these players around. All right. Uh, for me, guys, this is this is how I view the world. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Best midfielder. Have you done one of these? Yeah. Fuck me. Uh, in 10th position, I've got Casemiro. Okay. In 9th position, I've got Frankie de Jong. Oh, yeah. In 8th, I've got Kimmich. Yeah. Oh, that's low. 7th, I've got Declan Rice. What? <laughs> You put De- Declan Rice ahead of Kimmich and Casemiro. <laughs> Are you joking? More, who would I rather have in my team? Him. You think he's a better player than Josh right Kimmich? Right now? Yeah. No. Why are you looking at me like that? That's fucking Keep mental. Going, on. Sixth, I've got Martin Odegaard. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Two of Arsenal's midfielders. Are you joking? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Are you doing this for a clue? Odegaard was quite literally one of the best players in the Premier League, which is the best league in the world. Wow. Tell me I'm wrong. Go on. Tell me I'm wrong. Over Kimmich. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. You watch a lot of the Bundesliga recently, have you? <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, to be fair, when, what? What? When no, we, we no, don't yeah, want, yeah, none no, of us watch Bayern Munich or Germany. Yeah. Okay. When Kimmich is better than Royce and Erdegaard, it comfortably. Currently, how do you know that? What? I'm, I can only point. go by what I'm watching. Good point. She so didn't watch any of Bayern last season. No. Uh, okay. So why is he in your list? Because I know he's good. <laughs> fuck is fifth? I got Rodri. Jesus. That's low, bro. Yeah. Fourth, I've got Gundogan. Okay. Third, I've got Bellingham. What? <laughs> Second, I've got Modric. Yep. First, I've got KDB. Third. Bellingham third? Yeah, yeah man, he's the real deal, I'm telling you. This guy is the bomb.com. He, can, he walks into any side. There's a re- reason Roman did sign it for 100 mil. The bomb.com, did you just say? <laughs> I don't get why you hated that list so much. I didn't. I, I thought I didn't mind it one bit. I think. Yeah, why, why is there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's enough to do. Why is there like, like this awkward silence going on? What was wrong with that list? I, I, I don't know, mate. Look, it's all so, opinions. It's all yeah, opinions. You know, it? you, it's all opinions. Yeah. You're not wrong. I just disagree. That's all. Wrong. No, what? No, Wrong. I didn't say anything. Don't just keep staring at me. He's the one that's got... <laughs> yeah, I think, your yeah, list, I think that's pretty crazy, in my opinion. But well, the only the one you disagree with is Kimmich. Should be higher. That's the only one. And I think Rodri probably should be higher, but... I, 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 Casemiro in 10th to... is pretty mad for me as well, though. But... Erdegaard and Rice that high is a bit crazy, I think, but... But Erdegaard was quite literally the best midfielder in the league last year. I think he was no, one, one of them. Then. And yeah. it's the best league in the world. He's, yeah, but he had one... Uh, we had one Yeah, one we're talking really about current best midfielder in the world. What, of one season, does that eradicate all the last few seasons of Kimmich? I'm saying currently he's in there. He's got. Okay. He has to be mentioned. He has to. Yeah, it's not. I'm not. It's not an Art Barca Arsenal fan. I put. Well, it is. Three, I put three City players in. Well, it is because neither of them are in mine, and I'm three not City fan. players. I've put in. Yeah, I know, but yeah, you could have put more in. Um, Fair argument. Shall I go? Yeah. Yeah, man. Also, uh, you haven't. You've only put two in. I got three: De Bruyne, Gundogan, and Rodri. Oh, there's only two there, mate. Only two. 
Mm. Oh, piss off. <laughs> you know what I mean. He paid the whole season. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> number 10, Frankie de Jong. Oh, yeah. We're all pretty similar. Uh, number nine, Martin Edegaard. <laughs> oh, I, I don't mind him nine. Oh, like, oh shut up. Uh, sixth is high, bro. The sixth best midfielder in the world. Number eight, Ilkay Gundogan. Oh, we've got the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Below. Uh, seven, <laughs> Joshua Kimmich. Mm, too low. W- one place above me. God, he's I'll have too, a he's dig too, in him. He's yeah. too low. I, I think I've said this. A, I'm not going to repeat everything I've just said. <laughs> uh, six, Pedri. Ooh, I forgot about him. I you forgot, forgot about, about him, about him for the top well. ten. I didn't forget about him. Shit. You don't think he's in the top ten midfielders in the world? No. Young enough to. How much have you watched the Pedri this season, man? Like, honestly, grow up. <laughs> What? Why do you like, like, he plays for Barcelona? Yeah, you, just because you, you don't right, watch any not, football. I'd put Pedri 11th. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to change it now, but yeah, Pedri. Oh, cause I forgot about him the other week as well. Yeah, we he's, like, on, he's on every list in the top. If you Google top 10 centimeters in the world right now, he's on every list. Well, I didn't do that. Well, he clearly did. Oh <laughs> No, I just, I just think he's top 10. <laughs> Come on. Uh, number five, Jude Bellingham. Oh my God. Oh. I can't believe you. Number four, Casemiro. Wow. Fourth. Yeah. Jesus. Mate, fourth. Yeah. Are you actually saying you've paid a Bellingham. third of the season? That's that, a that's stinky, stinky, that one. That's, that's awful. Sorry? That that's like like stinky one. You, 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 re- you realise that hey, you realize he's, he's part of the reason why United finished top four. Yeah, he's not better than Bellingham. Like, that's he's not. What? He is better than Bellingham. He's, I'd have him ahead of Bellingham right he's, now. Yeah. No, you would what? not. There is no way. Oh, there man. is no way right now you're putting Casemiro ahead of Jude Bellingham. Yeah. Casemiro back in the Real Madrid team. Yeah, absolutely. Why oh, not? Yes. He's won five Premier uh, Leagues. Why are you acting like Casemiro? Is an unbelievable. Wait, wait, because he's yeah, that's like saying, all right, all right. What, because yeah, he had okay, two well, red cards he, in the but, Premier League. Because he's won five Champions Leagues. All right, I'm going to go fucking get Perlo out of retirement and put him in the league then. <laughs> what? That's stupid. You what agreeing and laughing at his points <laughs> makes our arguments better. No, I, I, I was confused by that one. Um, three, Rodri. Two, Modric. One, KDB. Wow, we've bo- I've got... There's a few on Marley that so you haven't even mentioned. Um, ten, I've gone Bruno Fernandes. Oh, yeah. No, that's Nine, Frankie de Jong. Eight, Gundogan. So we're all pretty similar with those two. Uh, seventh, Modric. I just think he's aging a little bit now. Sixth, I've got Verratti. I think <sighs> Verratti's unbelievable. Fifth, Valverde. Yeah. Fourth, Bernardo Silva. Third, Kimmich. Oh, Second, Rodri. First, De Bruyne. You're so indie, man. Why does that make me indie? <laughs> You Verratti, really think, Verratti was like a one-man midfield for ages at PSG. You really think Modric is seventh? Yeah, I think now he's starting to... I think, I think he's, he's in the second pull- leg against City last year, I thought, oh, he's, he's just, he's just seeing him age a bit still. now. Mm-hmm. He's, still do, he's still one of the best. I've still put him seventh best midfielder yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah. Bruno Fernandes I did forget about. I can't lie. No way for me. Not top ten. Really? Yeah, he was in unbelievable terms of influence, last season. So he's, he's, he was, and Bruno was better than Erdegaard last season. I think he no, was close. I don't, but I forgot about him for my I think it was close. I'd just because he had a better season. Hang on, just because yeah. we're saying current best had a better mid. numbers-wise season than Bruno. I think Erdegaard was way better than Bruno last year. I think he's close. I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue against that, but he wasn't way better. Bruno was unbelievable for United last season. Yeah, yeah I know. And he played everywhere as well. They even stuck him at centre-back for one game. Doesn't count. Not lots of kiss ass, man. <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't think, put him in. Uh, no, no, Bernardo Silva. Yeah, that's yeah. What? <sighs> Valverde. Uh, Valverde is a good one. I can't lie. Yeah, Valverde. I did think uh, Valverde was. Yeah. It was either him. But or then I thought to myself, is he really a central midfielder these he days? He can play anywhere though. Yeah, he is unbelievable. But it's, again, it's one of those with the Camavinga again, right? Mm. So like then you, you him, but he was a left. I haven't got of. Bellingham, Rice, or I think mean, it's crazy not to include Bellingham. Why? Crazy. Why? Oh, he's so, mate, 10. this guy is unbelievable. Wait, you didn't have Bellingham top 10? <laughs> that's crazy. That's actually crazy. That is bad luck. Why is it? That is. That's are, you, are we seeing, you, so you're telling me, you, right at this stage, Bellingham isn't better than Bruno, Frankie de Jong, Gundogan, Modric, Verratti, Valverde. He's not. I think at the end of this season, we'll be able to have a This isn't this a up. list about I know, the end of year, is it? Because you're, under, you're underestimating um, the him against the rest of the players. So this I'm not. Is I'm just saying not. he's not at that level Where yet. Where would you rank he, him then? I think he probably the will be. I think How he far did. off is he out of your top probably, He's probably top 20. <laughs> Oh, that's I'd have mate. to think. I'd have to think. I don't know. He might be. Oh, Pe- Pedri's better level. than Bellingham. Mm. Pedri's better than Bellingham, and he's not I in mean, the top ten. In terms of World Cup, Bellingham had a better one, right? Yeah. Yeah, but England had a better World Cup than Spain, didn't we? Yeah, but I mean, like at the highest level, he's still. But I'm not talking about 
how well a team's done so therefore that player's better I'm just basing off what I see and what you see is wrong mm. I mean uh, the fact you not you, top 10 is harsh though that's mental why I that's think he, worse I think he is top not, 10 midfielders in the world not putting Bellingham Even if you're in your top 10 over is who? worse over who? than me putting Erdegaard in my top 10 over who I'd have Bellingham over Varey yeah what yeah are we serious no I like yeah. Varey he's a very good player don't get me wrong what? but he's not top 10 in the world oh, Jesus <laughs> so right now who are you Verratti? signing who are you signing Varey or Bellingham Varey <laughs> Don't know about what? that. Though. He's a better footballer than better. What are we fucking mental? You're overrating Drew Bellingham so much. I'm not even joking. Anything but underrated. No, you, no, no way. He can, there's no way he can control games or fucking break lines yeah, the way Verratti does. No, but he's a different player though, isn't he? Yes, yeah, so Verratti's got way more to his game. Nah. Verratti's, but Verratti's not a box to box player. No, he, but he, mate. But he this could, is what I mean. Drew Bellingham is. So he depends he's on the He's not, kind though. Of he's in, no, he more is. a final third player. He's not really a box to box. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a long athletic freak. He can get. What do you mean? A good dribbler. He he's not. He's, he's not, got everything. Bam. No, he hasn't. <laughs> he does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he can do everything. <laughs> I get it. He's in, Royce has got more to his game than Bellingham at the minute. On a, mm. He has? Yeah. That's a tough one. That's yeah, close. Oh my! List the attributes. Okay, name me something Bellingham can't do. Uh, he's not very. He's not very good at picking the ball up deep on half term and breaking lines. <laughs> he doesn't do that. <laughs> what? He doesn't. Do, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, Bellingham? No, no, no. When does he's Bellingham do that? He's done it so many <laughs> times for Dortmund. What the fuck? <laughs> Bellingham picks the ball up in fine in the final third and drives. You know, but you're saying he can't do stuff he, that he can evidently do. He though. can't. Not or, to, not to the same level as other players. Verratti gets the ball. It will do like a half term and play it back to the centre back. Bellingham will take the ball and just turn and run. No love for Thiago either. I don't know if anyone wants yeah. No, you don't like Jesus that. Jesus Christ. I can't believe you think Bellingham's better than Verratti. Mm. I think he is. Yeah, I think he is. I get it. He's young English and you'll probably but do a video with him. They are him, different so footballers like... though. They are different footballers. You can't expect the same outcome in a game. Verratti, Verratti doesn't give you what Jude Bellingham gives you. But you, Jude doesn't give you what... Um, Verratti does I reckon Jude could play Verratti's I can't remember Jude ain't signed Verratti for 100 mil <laughs> because he's not 20 well Bellingham's better than Verratti and Bellingham's 20 he's not mm. he's no, not he's 20 what's yours um, uh, well, Jordan <laughs> I've got Jordan you've got no, a fucking Bucky's. Newcastle player in this no genuinely right no, I, 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 I'm going to struggle stand by I, I made this in like two minutes because I was rushed setting up if and you've got, got a lot of this, names. Quit your mic off. I've got a lot of names, but let's just do it anyways. Number 10, I did have Declan Rice. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Ninth, Valverde. Yeah. <laughs> no logic to this one, really. Just needed a name. Camavinga's in it. <laughs> <laughs> we nah. did say though nah, he if, is if, class if, if, yeah you, you he is good he is very good yeah right yeah, like, I, I, I can't say I've been watching him I know he's just good and he he has played left back for a lot of Madrid's season but uh, yeah, that's right. why I put him in you know versatility yeah he's you know, well good. that's why Valverde's in there as well because he plays right wing right he's very good <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, then we go Casemiro very good but not as high as what number is he's that? got him seventh okay sixth Gundo well, wherever you say the end of his name. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now, how do you say it? How do you say it? Gundogan. Fine. Yeah. How good. do you watch football and never have heard someone say Gundogan? Not a commentator. I just watch him, no, no. Um, fifth, Modric. Yeah. 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 Are we good? Yeah. I'm going to put a poll out right now because you fucked me off. <laughs> what? Who's better? Do you better than Yeah. You're going to okay. get laughed at. You're going to get laughed at. I'm not. You're um, going to get humbled. Do you know what? I actually don't care. You're gonna no, get, you clearly you don't know, care. The, the problem is now, <laughs> the poll's going to go out and because Madrid have such a vocal force on social media, they will vote Drew Bellingham as well. So oh, yeah, I think I'm followed by a lot of Madrid fucking fans, and I? No, but you uh, don't uh, care. He doesn't care, though. <laughs> you don't yeah, care. Yeah. Yeah, no, not, I, not I, putting know, out I want to know if I'm going mental because you are I can't believe mental. what I'm hearing. No, you are. You, are. Oh, you had him above Kimmich? That's slanderous. Go on. Anyway, carry on. Uh, <laughs> so do I. Right. I'll get that. Yeah, Number four, fucking... this is based on if you put this person into the quality of team that Brunel the rest G. are on. Bruno G. Oh my God. 
No way, man. Maybe 12th or 13th in the list, but not 4th. Oh. <laughs> you, <laughs> now, you know, you know, no, okay, how can, even, no honestly, no, no, because, how can you, how can, no, how right. can Newcastle finish 4th in the Premier League when they have the 4th best centre in the world <laughs> and the 6th best striker in the world? Well, that's how we got it. They carry the rest of the team. Now, you can, you can understand <laughs> yeah. why you get a lot of hate though, Lewis, right? Yeah, well, you know, do you know the, the, crazy one, the crazy ones are always slandered, but they always end up being right. No, the that game? does not make any sense, by yes. the way. I got slandered he for saying Newcastle top four. Look what happened. Boom. The, so you, no, no, no. Because that, you got no, one no, thing no, right. That was, that's a prediction. You saying Bruno G is the fourth okay. best midfielder in the world is, is based on current stats. How many people right now are just slamming their heads against <laughs> the keyboard? Right, let me see the logic. The logic behind the it, right? The right argument has been and gone now, man. I'm Fim sorry Garros. about that. Right? I think Valverde <laughs> should be ahead of him, actually. Uh, that's a mistake there. But I'll look at the rest, and I think I'd rather Bruno G, simply. And if you put him into those top teams, he would be performing at a higher level as well. He's doing this in a Newcastle team in a time. Remember, when he signed for Newcastle, we were on a horrendous spree. He is brilliant. And when he was in the team, we went on one of the biggest streaks in our club's history. And this is without all the signings. This is just Bruno G. And no, you no, take no. him out of the team and we I, lost all I, the I games. I completely get, agree. And obviously, <laughs> the percentage points you have compared oh. to when uh, he's yeah. not in the team uh -huh. is a lot higher. But fourth in the world, Luke. You, you tell me, right? You take uh, Modric out of Real Madrid, they're going to slump down to 10th. No. Bruno G is carrying an entire team to the Champions League. Is he still talking? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Either. <laughs> hey, look, lads. Look, we know all that, but he's not the fourth best midfielder in all the world. We can just, all, we can, all we can agree on right now is that Twitter is always right and they're saying Bellingham's better than Vrij. Ah, oh, who would have thought that? And was also, variety uh, hype nowadays. Variety, variety hype nowadays stinks. Not gonna lie, he smokes more six than gets minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anywho, uh, Rodri third, Bellingham second, KDB first. Bellingham second. Yes. I think he's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. never been more impressed by a player. I swear that to God, I love him. How I thought about it. Well, well, I, I, I put Bellingham I, third. I, I feel yeah. bad because I like I love him and I want him to do really well. But I, I must it. be seeing something different with Bellingham. I don't think Bellingham's better than Rodri. I don't think I've ever seen him do a mistake. Like genuinely, I can't think of a yeah, time where really like, he's there. fucked up. Like, I actually have never seen Bellingham. No, he gave he's... the ball away loads for England at the World Cup. He does give the ball away a lot because he's a high-risk player. Again, you, you, I think you just listen to everyone else. You don't watch these players play. You can't do. <laughs> I to say it. that, he never makes a mistake. I no, I don't know. I said from I what I remember. I, what the <laughs> fuck? What are you actually talking about? I watched him in person. Is this like a, is this like a, a trick you're playing on me or something? What, <laughs> no. what, is, what are you talking about? Bellingham's the second best midfielder in the world. To be fair, what the Jude fuck Bellingham. Are you about? No, because you know, the difference between Jude Bellingham and say Verratti is that Jude Bellingham will probably win a Ballon d'Or. Verratti's never going to come close to no, Ballon d'Or. Bellingham seen, will never win a Ballon d'Or. But I've also seen Verratti. Be blown over much? by the wind. I think Bellingham could win the. <laughs> I think Bellingham could actually win a Ballon d'Or. Of course he could. Okay, uh, like Willie won't. Like, well, he could. Of course he could. He, if he carries Real Madrid, yeah, and I could league. lose my leg on the way home, but it's probably not going to happen. I saw Verratti crying in Nazareth. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, well. I'll, I'll just. Yeah, I think you're mental. But seventy percent of people so far have said Bellingham is better than Verratti. I'm not surprised. You are going crazy, as confirmed. <laughs> I, I, look, I obviously view the game differently now, and I incorrectly. Very different. <laughs> you think he's the second best player in the world? No, I'll, second I'll, best I'll, midfielder. Sorry. Yeah, I, I do. I do. <laughs> nice. Think. He corrected him. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that that's crazy. Well, speaking of, uh, wait, no, no, because the these lot got to say what well, they're. List is in the yeah, comments. They, but they do that anyway. They don't need the indication of us to do it now. Yeah. And also drop a like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 200k subscribers. Yeah, so no, please no, do no. that. So close.